Well, hello everyone and welcome to another very exciting complete growing guide here on the MI Gardener channel. I know you all are gonna love this one because this is a complete growing guide on how to grow a pineapple from a store-bought pineapple top. Now, this is such a highly requested video, so I know everyone's gonna love it. We're gonna do it step-by-step, step, walking you through how to go basically from this to this in the course of about two years or so. So it does take a while, but it is so rewarding and so worth it. But before we get into the video, I wanted to thank our sponsor for this video, which is Grow It. It's a garden social app. And so if you are a cell phone user like myself and like meeting like-minded people, the Grow It app essentially connects gardeners from around the world and allows them to share what they're growing in their growing zone, share pictures of it, and it also really helps people get the information they need, which is really difficult to find when it comes to varieties, maybe specific to your area that grows really well. If you're new to an area or, you, uh, or you're just getting into gardening, this will really help you hone into those varieties that are, uh, that are the best for your region. I'll give you a quick example. Last year when we moved to this area, I wanted to find some fruit trees that grew really well for this specific area here in Michigan. And so I hopped on the Grow It app and I was actually able to find some varieties that other people were growing locally that I then went out and found. And to be honest, they're doing way better than any other apple trees that I've ever grown before. So it's a key example that it really does help to actually get in with people in the community, but it also helps you connect with people worldwide. So even if, even if they're in a completely different growing zone, it's still fun to get to know them, see what they're growing, and uh, kind of get your gardening juices going. Let's get into the growing guide now and we'll talk about how to get the pineapple top off of the pineapple so you can grow it correctly. So the first step to getting your pineapple growing is obviously to get it detached from the store-bought pineapple here. So all we wanna do is take one hand and hold the fruit of the pineapple, and the other hand needs to hold the basically the top. And what we're going to do is we're going to, one hand is going to rotate clockwise, the other hand is going to rotate counterclockwise, and it's going to basically twist the pineapple top right off. And you wanna do this gently because you don't wanna damage any part of this, this crown here. So now that we've gotten that removed, it's really important to remove these leaves here. And what you'll find when you remove these leaves is a little magical surprise, the roots of the future pineapple plant. So as you can see, the more of these leaves we remove, the more roots are exposed. And you don't wanna remove all the leaves because they will stop at a certain point but we can take off about three or four sets of leaves and you're going to find that the roots will stop after about three or four sets of leaves and that is all the roots that you're going to get. So now that we've done that, we have a nice set of roots. Oh man, that's beautiful. Got some nice little white young ones here and some older brown ones, does not matter. They will grow all the same. So now that we've gotten these exposed, What's really important is to prep the soil. So this is really all you have to do to get them, to getting them to grow. Now we're, gonna get, now we're going to get into growing conditions, which is really important. So when it comes to the pot that we're going to use, a lot of times people go with much too large of a pot. And this actually is counterproductive. It might seem like it's uh, better because you'll have to transplant it less. However, it's really not the case. Pineapples do like close quarters. The closer the quarters, the better because they are prone to root rot quite a bit. And so you wanna pick a pot that is around four inches, five inches in diameter, nothing too large, something that's going to hold um, a decent amount of soil, but it, it's going to be able to dry out between waterings. And that's really, really important. Also having good drainage holes on the bottom is also important. The next thing we want to pick is our soil. You want a super loose, well-draining, organic rich soil. Oftentimes people, they go with a sandy mix thinking that they're going to kind of replicate the island of Hawaii. Don't do that. It's really not, it's really not something you wanna do. Primarily because pineapples prefer, you know, if, if they're given this, they prefer a well-draining, super rich, loose soil. Um, and that's going to hold on to nutrients, it's going to hold on to the right amount of water so that you're not overwatering, but it's also going to allow them the water that they need because they are a tropical plant and they don't like to go bone dry. They don't live in the deserts very well. So um, the next thing we want to talk about is soil pH. When it comes to soil pH, you want a slightly acidic soil. Now remember, this does apply to where they, where they grow, and they grow in tropical regions, and tropical regions 
are a little on the acidic side. So around 6.0 to 5.5 is where I aim. Um, you can add a little bit of soil sulfur to this. And, uh, and usually most mixes that have a little bit of um, sphagnum peat moss or things like that are already slightly acidic. So uh, the, the potting mix that we're using is already pH balanced to be perfect for growing pineapples. So now it comes time to planting up your pineapple top. A lot of times people recommend putting this in a kind of a vase of water and letting the roots form. I would never, ever, ever recommend that. And reason being is I can't tell you how many pineapple tops I've started using that method only to find out that when I put them into soil, the shock is so great that it actually ends up killing the plant. It's best to actually have the plant slightly stressed, but in its kind of, uh, you know, in its native soil here, instead of growing it hydroponically with water and then moving it to soil, just way too much of a shock for it. Um, so I tend to actually start it in the soil. And if you're using the right type of soil and you keep it damp and keep it in a nice humid environment, it's actually going to set down roots perfectly fine. You will not need to put it in a jar of water. And even though it does seem more convenient to do so, like I said, uh, the results will be far more impressive and you'll actually have a far healthier plant if you start it right in the soil here. So quick tip that a lot of people make a mistake of. Um, so all we're going to do is we're just going to take this pineapple top now and you don't want to fiddle with any of these roots. You don't want to uh, you know, mess with them. They might seem tangled up. I promise you it's best to let them just kind of untangle on their own because they're very, very temperamental. And if you break them, they're not going to grow back. So uh, what I like to do is kind of prepare a hole here in the soil in the potting mix that we're using. And then all we wanna do is just gently set the top in there. You don't wanna pack the soil around too hard at all. Just maybe take your fingers and, and press down, gently tamp down the soil around the edges to basically push it around the crown of the pineapple, but don't press too hard because what you don't wanna do is you don't want soil to kind of come up on the crown of the pineapple. It's a very good way to get crown rot and pineapples are extremely prone to it. So that's again, one of those things that um, a lot of people uh, really make a mistake of. They're not difficult to grow, but if you put the soil up too high, there's no way that they're going to recover from it. So remember, just the roots, um, and I'll take it out of the soil just so I can explain here. You want no more than this lower set of leaves here to be uh, below soil level. It's pretty much going to set just on the soil in that little cup that you made in the soil. Then you keep it well watered and humid and before you know it, it'll set down roots. What I never recommend doing is testing to see if it's set down roots by you know, lifting it up and picking it up. It's just going to end up ripping those tender roots that are forming. Patience is key here. And if you just keep it in this place, as long as the leaves are green, you're doing something right. It's going to be taking up water from the soil. And what you'll find, this is how you know you've had a successful rooting, and you might have to do this a couple times, not all pineapples, you know, they're not, it's not 100% success rate, but you can have pretty good success rates nonetheless, uh, is by when you see the, the outer foliage starting to turn brown, don't panic, don't worry. What you're worrying about is the center of the pineapple. If it starts to successfully root, you'll notice new growth forming and it won't, be, and it won't uh, continue dying back anymore. It'll just stop where it is and then it'll start forming all new growth, which is a good thing. When it comes to sunlight, a lot of times people assume that because uh, they grow in, an, in a kind of an understory environment that they don't need a lot of sun. This is somewhat true if you wanna keep them as a foliage plant, they'll just continue growing out leaves. But if you wanna get them to fruit like our pineapple did, you wanna give them full sun, between eight and nine hours of sun. So they do require lots of sun. Um, and so it is a plant that if you don't care much for the fruit, I, I mean, I think it's an awesome conversation piece nonetheless, but if you just wanted a beautiful foliage plant, which it is, you know, you can do fine with four or five hours, just fine. The next thing I wanna talk about is temperatures. It's best to keep your pineapple plant above 60 degrees. If you're having it out on the patio, which is awesome for uh, getting those nice, warm, full sun days, uh, you wanna make sure that you bring it inside if it's gonna drop below 60. Because it's a tropical plant, it does not really appreciate those colder temperatures, and you'll notice that it begins to kind of die back on, on some of the tips, and that's where you notice kind of some of the stress first. So if you're starting to see that, again, don't panic, just move it back indoors or give it some warmer temperatures, and it's going to do fine. And the final thing that I wanted to talk about, the final thing is fertilizing. Fertilizing your pineapples could not be easier. All you wanna do is when you first plant, don't do anything. You wanna wait until the pineapple sets two, count it two, 
spears or or leaves out of the out of the center crown once it sets out two you can go ahead and start fertilizing and it does not really matter what you fertilize it with as long as it has some nitrogen some phosphorus and some potassium they're very easy to grow that's really all there is to growing pineapples from a store-bought top it could not be easier and even though this was a pretty long video, I wanted to touch on everything in depth so that you can have the confidence of growing a pineapple just like we did here in this pot. All right, so we're gonna access the Grow It app now so I can show you guys how cool this is. Here's the Grow It app, and you have all of your, kind of your, this is kind of your news feed of people you're following. And if we wanna add a plant, all we have to do is hit this plus button, and then you can add a question, add a project, or add a plant. So we're gonna add this pineapple to our profile so you all can check it out. And then what we're going to do is we're just gonna snag a quick picture here. So I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna click use photo. And then all we have to do is put in what type of plant it is. I'm gonna put pineapple. And then you can add a variety. A, you can tag another plant or add to a project. We're gonna put this in a container. And then you wanna let people know that you love it. If it's a weed and you're letting people know about weeds, you can put leave it. And then you can add notes if you want. So we can put here, pineapple plant started from a store bought pineapple. We're gonna add that. And there we go, our plant has been added to our plants list. And now you can check it out here. So if we go to our profile, you can check out here's our profile. You can follow us at MI Gardener. You can search us there. And I think this is really cool because now you can see all the plants we've added to our list and it will help you kind of follow along with the plants we're growing and uh, give you some ideas of what will grow well in your area. Another cool feature that I wanted to point out is if you wanna find growers in your area, this right here helps you hone in to wherever you want to grow. So let's say I'm, I'm in Saginaw, Michigan, and you can search, basically you can expand it by pinching in or narrow it by pinching out. So if I wanna really hone in on just anyone in the Saginaw area, I can do that. And then I can set the location. And that way, um, anyone growing here, so you can see here there's actually people posting in Saginaw, Michigan, different plants that they're growing and you can follow them and kind of connect with them so you can get better ideas of what's growing in there in kind of in that area. So there you go, there is a complete growing guide on how to grow a pineapple from a store-bought pineapple top. Hopefully you all enjoyed, hopefully you learned something new, and I did wanna give a massive thank you to the creators of the Grow It app for sponsoring this video. This, this channel would not be possible without sponsors doing this, and I really do hope that you check out their app. I think it's an awesome app, it's definitely a way for people to connect, and I love connecting, I love learning about what other people are growing, and also it is way more fun when more people are on it. It certainly has been picking up traction, and hopefully with the help of this video, it'll really pick up traction. Again, you can follow us at MI Gardener on the Grow It app, and we'll follow you back if you follow us. And that way we can share pictures of what we're growing. It'd be a ton of fun, and certainly check it out. It's a free app, so you really got nothing to lose, and uh, and I'm, I'm having fun with it, so I know you will as well. So there you go. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something new. And as always, this is Luke from the MI Gardener channel reminding you to grow big, Grow a pineapple, share it with us on the Grow It app, and we'll catch you later. See ya. Bye.